Hi everyone, Ezra here, and I hope you're all having a good day today. Today I'm going to read you a fun little special book. It's called Jemina the Crooked Neck Giraffe, written and illustrated by Karen B. Winnick. And it's about a famous giraffe who was a special giraffe who lived at the Santa Barbara Zoo. And I hope you, you enjoy this book. Jemina stood out from all the other at the Santa Barbara Zoo. She was the famous crooked neck giraffe. Jemina was born healthy with a straight neck on July 16th, 1986 at the San Diego Zoo Wild Animal Park. Her father was Blackjack. Her mother was Ginger. They were Beringos. Giraffes with smooth, smooth, even spots. Jemina stood right on wobbly legs. She was almost six feet tall. She drank her mother's milk and followed her all around the yard. Jemina also played with the other baby giraffes. Like them, she grew and grew and grew. By the time she was one, she had nearly doubled her in height. When Jemina was almost two, she came to live at the Santa Barbara Zoo. She made friends with the other giraffes, and she grew some more until she was 13 and a half feet tall. Jemina was nearly as tall as the treetops in her yard. When Jemina turned three, a bump appeared on the side of her neck. <laughs> Slowly, over time, it got bigger and bigger. The bigger it got, the more crooked Jemina's neck became. Everyone at the zoo worried. Was Jemina all right? Did her neck hurt? No one knew what the bump was. No one knew what caused it. It was a mystery. Zoo veterinarians examined her. Later x-rays were taken. No one would ev ever know for sure what caused the crook in Jemina's neck. As months passed, Jemina's neck leaned more and more to the side. It never seemed to bother her. She never acted like it hurt. Jemina seemed fine. Every morning, she was first inside the barn for breakfast. Jemina waited until Michelle, her keeper, filled her dish from the second floor of the barn. Jemina learned leaned forward like all the other giraffes and munched her grains mixed with fruits and vegetables. Every afternoon, Jemina walked around outside with the other giraffes. They didn't treat her any differently because of her crooked neck. Jemina was part of the herd. Taru, the male, and the other giraffes, Saluma and Arethia, were her good friends. Hornbills, crowned cranes, and even tortoises kept her company in the yard. Like the other giraffes, Jemina nibbled leaves from the trees, sometimes leaves from uh, acacia trees were brought in. They were Jemina's favorite snack. Children came with their parents, grandparents, aunts, and uncles to see their, see the Jer Santa Barbara Zoo's one and only crooked neck giraffe. Everybody bought biscuits and waited in a long line to, to feed her. Jemina came up to the fence. Her neck bent far to the side, 
but her enormous black-brown eyes peered straight at each boy and girl. Hi, Jemina. Why is her neck crooked? She's so friendly. A small girl using a wheelchair held up a biscuit. Jemina stuck out her long tongue, curling it around the biscuit. The girl giggled. Jemina gobbled the biscuit. <sighs> One day, a boy with condition called scoliosis came to the Santa Barbara Zoo. The boy had uneven shoulders and hips. He leaned to one side. When he saw Jemina, the boy shouted, That giraffe has a bump like me! The boy studied Jemina as he walked around the yard. He watched her as she reached to nibble leaves. He watched Jemina do all the things the other giraffes did. Later, the boy told his parents that he wasn't so bothered by his bump anymore. Jemina made many people feel better about themselves. They cared about her because she was different. People saw that Jemina didn't let her difference stop her from doing anything the other giraffes did. Children especially loved her because of her crooked neck. Jemina became famous. Newspapers wrote about her and her photograph. Radio announcers talked about her. She even appeared on television. And Jemina voted one of the wonders of Santa Barbara. And Jemina was voted one of the wonders of Santa Barbara. On July 16th, 2007, Jemina turned 21. The Santa Barbara Zoo celebrated her birthday with a big party. Her fans crowded by the fence. Jemina was presented with a huge card that boys and girls from all over the world signed. It was covered with her favorite snack, acacia leaves. Jemina leaned over and over and grabbed a mouthful. Chomp, chomp, chomp. She grabbed another. Chomp, chomp, chomp. They sang, everyone sang and cheered. Then everyone shouted, Happy birthday, Jemina. Afterward, the following year after having lived full life, Jemina died. On March 31st, 2009, a plaque was dedicated in her honor. It sits on a stone in front of her yard to, for all those to see. Jemina, the crooked neck giraffe, touched many lives. The end papers in front and back show some of the hundreds of letters and drawings sent by children, all Jemina's fans. The end. I hope you enjoyed that fun book based on a true story about a famous giraffe.